Hello, and welcome to this training session on Timosin Alpha-1, a peptide that has gained significant attention in the medical field for its immunomodulatory properties. By the end of this session, you will understand the mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, potential side effects, and patient considerations associated with Thymosin Alpha-1. Additionally, we will review three clinical case studies to illustrate its practical use. Let's get started. Thymosin Alpha-1 is a 28 amino acid peptide fragment derived from the prohormone Thymosin Beta-4. This peptide is naturally produced by the thymus gland, an organ essential for the development and regulation of the immune system. Thymosin Alpha-1 acts as an immune response modifier. This means it can strengthen the immune system in individuals with weakened immune function, such as those with infections or cancer, while also calming down an overactive immune system in conditions like autoimmune diseases. Thymosin Alpha-1 is approved in several countries, including Italy, for the treatment of chronic hepatitis B and hepatitis C. In the United States, it is available as a research compound and is commonly used in integrative medicine for immune support. Thymosin Alpha-1 modulates the immune system by working on several levels, enhancing T-cell activity. T-cells are a type of white blood cell that play a central role in fighting infections and cancer. Thymosin Alpha-1 improves the function of helper T-cells and cytotoxic T-cells, which help coordinate the immune response and directly kill infected or cancerous cells, increasing natural killer cell activity. Natural killer cells are responsible for identifying and destroying infected or abnormal cells. Thymosin Alpha-1 boosts their efficiency. Promoting dendritic cell maturation. Dendritic cells are critical for recognizing threats like viruses or cancer and presenting them to the immune system for a proper response. Thymosin Alpha-1 ensures these cells function optimally. Regulating cytokine production. Cytokines are signaling proteins that direct the immune system's activity. Thymosin Alpha-1 helps balance these signals, reducing excessive inflammation while improving immune response. These mechanisms make Thymosin Alpha-1 uniquely effective in both immune suppression, such as in cancer or chronic infections, and immune overactivation, as seen in autoimmune diseases. Thymosin Alpha-1 is versatile and used in a wide range of clinical conditions, including chronic viral infections, chronic hepatitis B and hepatitis C, human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, long COVID or post-viral fatigue syndromes. Cancer therapy supports immune surveillance, helping the body recognize and destroy cancer cells, enhances the effectiveness of treatments like chemotherapy, radiation, and immunotherapy. Autoimmune diseases, conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus erythematosus, and multiple sclerosis. Sepsis and severe infections, helps critically ill patients recover by reducing immune dysfunction associated with sepsis. Vaccine support, boosts vaccine response in older adults or those with weakened immune systems. Thymosin Alpha-1 is administered as a subcutaneous injection, meaning it is injected just beneath the skin. Here are general dosage guidelines. For immune support in chronic conditions, 1.6 milligrams to 3.2 milligrams, two to three times per week. For acute infections, 1.6 milligrams daily for seven to 14 days. For chronic infections or autoimmune conditions, 1.6 milligrams, two to three times per week for three to six months. For oncology support, 3.2 milligrams twice per week often combined with other therapies. Dosages may need adjustment based on the patient's weight, the severity of their condition, and treatment goals. Thymosin Alpha-1 should be stored at a refrigerated temperature of 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit to maintain stability. Thymosin Alpha-1 is well tolerated with a low incidence of side effects. The most common side effects include mild redness, swelling, or discomfort at the injection site, occasional fatigue or headache, which typically resolve on their own, rare gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea or diarrhea. No significant drug interactions have been reported, but it is always essential to review the patient's medical history before prescribing. Case Study 1. Chronic Hepatitis B. A 48-year-old male presents with chronic hepatitis B with persistently elevated liver enzymes, fatigue, and a high viral load despite antiviral therapy. Treatment Protocol 
The patient was prescribed thymosin alpha-1 at 1.6 mg, injected subcutaneously three times per week for six months. Outcome. After six months, the patient showed a significant reduction in viral load, normalization of liver enzymes, and improved energy levels. Liver biopsy revealed reduced inflammation and no progression of liver damage. Case Study 2. Cancer Immunotherapy Support A 62-year-old female undergoing chemotherapy for stage 3 breast cancer experiences recurrent infections and difficulty recovering her white blood cell counts after treatment cycles. Treatment Protocol Thymosin Alpha-1 was prescribed at 3.2 mg, injected subcutaneously twice weekly, starting two weeks before chemotherapy and continuing throughout treatment. Outcome the patient had fewer infections, improved recovery of white blood cells, and better tolerance to chemotherapy with reduced fatigue. Case Study 3 – Autoimmune Disease – Rheumatoid Arthritis A 55-year-old female with rheumatoid arthritis reports persistent joint pain and fatigue despite treatment with methotrexate and steroids. Treatment Protocol Thymosin Alpha-1 was prescribed at 1.6 mg, injected subcutaneously twice weekly for three months. Outcome the patient experienced reduced joint pain, decreased inflammation markers, and was able to reduce her steroid dosage significantly. Her quality of life improved and she resumed daily activities with minimal discomfort. Thymosin Alpha-1 is an excellent option for patients with chronic viral infections such as Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, and HIV. Cancer requiring immune support during chemotherapy or immunotherapy autoimmune conditions that involve an overactive immune system, host infection syndromes, such as long COVID or recurrent infections, monitoring parameters, track clinical improvement in symptoms, measure immune function markers, such as T-cell counts and cytokine levels, assess viral load for infections or inflammation markers in autoimmune diseases. In summary, Thymosin Alpha-1 is a safe, versatile peptide with applications in chronic infections, cancer immunotherapy, autoimmune conditions, and vaccine enhancement. By incorporating it into your clinical practice, you can offer patients an innovative and evidence-based approach to restoring immune balance. Thank you for participating in this training. If you have questions or wish to discuss specific cases, please feel free to ask now.